to recreate your SP specific person or not to? That is the question. Let's talk about that today. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a law of attraction coach and today we're answering a subscriber's question about everyone is you pushed out and recreating people. So just before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, each one of them with the intention that you're going to be able to create something wonderful in your life. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay, so <clears throat> the question is, I got my SP, but I'm noticing a lot of habits, traits that I do not like after spending more time with him, such as him being very messy, unorganized, sloppy, impatient when driving, some road rage going on there. And um, sometimes he lacks the clear and efficient communication skills and that sort of thing. So um, so basically the subscribers seeing a lot of things that they don't like after they manifested their SP. So their question is, is I'm trying to understand if the concept everyone is you pushed out relates to this. I don't think I created him sloppy, messy person having road rage or issues with communication as these existed before me. Really good question. Okay, so let's start with that. So everybody in your reality has zero consciousness, zero free will. You're the only person in your reality with consciousness and free will. So you're the only one that can actually create intentions and everything works to your design. So when things are pre-done in your reality, so with people, people show up, say with road rage, okay, well, there's, if you've already, so those are created by general sort of beliefs about society and people, okay? So, you know, if you got the belief that, okay, some people, you know, get angry in a road rage, some people don't. So boom, you've just created that belief, right? So these are sort of, you know, agreement realities at, a, you know, a, a society level. Okay. So that's how things sort of people come pre sort of, you know, pre created. Okay. So, and when you don't specifically create somebody and say, okay, here's a list of what I want to manifest. I want to manifest this, 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 right. Then you kind of just kind of get what you get for the most part, as far as, all those sort of presets out there because remember i mean you may have five ten years of just like you know thoughts here and there and that you've created you know like some people are great some people aren't great you know some guys are good at communicating some aren't well now you picked one that isn't right so you know now the thing is right so that's how they sort of come pre-created part two of this question is if we get our sp and find a ton of qualities that we don't like about them is this a self-loving thing to do to stay with them or uh, or keep intending to change them so this is one thing i intend a few changes here and there in this person but to intend to change nearly everything pretty much all of their habits and traits is almost like changing the person entirely is it healthier or our better interest to release them and intend on manifesting that someone that's more aligned with our preference. I like my SP, but I wish for him to have the qualities and habits that are aligned with mine. Not sure what to do at this point or how to think about this. So it's not a mess, a question of healthy or unhealthy. Now, let's say you do manifest your SP like this one and say, okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> Not even going there. Like there's too much to change. You don't have to change them just because you know how to recreate somebody with everyone as you pushed out, which I've done a previous video about, you know, you basically intend that those qualities change. And I'll link that video up in the cards. But basically what it comes down to is you don't have to recreate somebody. It's the question is, you know, do I buy a house that's already perfect or do I buy a house that's a, a reno that I've got a reno? It's completely up to you. If you want to recreate the person, great. If you don't want to and you want to move on, great. It's completely up to you. Is it healthy, unhealthy? Well, it depends, right? If it's not going to make you happy, then I probably wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it if it doesn't make me happy. So there's nothing wrong with recreating the person. And there's also nothing wrong with going out and saying, forget it. I'm just going to go find someone new that more matches what I want. It's your choice. It's all up to what you actually want to do. 
I've had relationships in the past where, of course, I know how to recreate people, but I was like, you know what? No, this is too much. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just moving on. I created me a list and I got my new Jerry and I'm quite happy. <laughs> it was a lot less work for me. Let me tell you that, you know, so, you know, that's the thing is you get that choice and there's no right or wrong of whether or not you're not obligated to change them completely. And, you know, and there's, and it's okay to say, you know what? He can find someone better suited to him and I'm going to go find someone better suited to me because you know what? You're absolutely perfect and you're in this world to create an experience. And if you want to experience, you know, a house coming pre-done perfectly to your liking, then you go ahead and do that, right? And if you want to have, you know, a reno remodel project, then go ahead, right? It's completely up to you. Just as long as what you're doing is truly what you want to do and that you feel good about. And if you don't feel good about it, then, you know, then find something or someone that does make you feel good. Anyways, that's my video for today. That was a subscriber's question. And yes, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.